So today we are installing two massive pieces of carbon fiber on the Toyota Supra. And while they are huge, they don't weigh anything. We have a trunk mounted lip spoiler that is gonna look so cool on the factory ducktail design that this trunk has. And then we have a really big front lip that should be a really cool design, nice and subtle, and just go in that lower portion of the front bumper. So these are both Keys Motorsports carbon fiber products. We have these linked on our website down below. We carry a lot of Keys Motorsports products. I have their charge pipe and now we're adding carbon fiber. So check out the link down below if you want really nice carbon fiber on your Toyota Supra. These are gonna look so good and really just add to that cool style that the Supra is gonna give you. So then just taking another close look, this is all of course genuine carbon fiber. You can see the really nice glossy weave to everything, insanely high quality material as you would expect. And then same thing for the lip, really nice carbon and just that super, super shiny design. And I like with on this lip, if you look at the underside, there's actually inset portions where this is gonna bolt on, so this really shouldn't take all too much time to install onto the car. And then taking a look at the spoiler, the backside has this adhesive tape already on it. So really easy to just adhere to the car and stick for a nice permanent adhesion. But of course, being the 3M adhesive, you can always peel it off later on in life if you were gonna change something up. But the quality is just so nice. And as you can see the backside, it's all genuine carbon like I mentioned. So really, really high quality product. And it doesn't weigh anything being carbon fiber. So then to work on installing the rear wing, of course, have your car nice and clean. And then I'm just gonna take a nice clean microfiber to wipe off any dust that's on this. The car is pretty clean overall, so just a little bit of dust on the car to remove and you're gonna be good to go. So from here, you just wanna test fit the wing. We're just gonna line it up following the body lines and then use the edge of the trunk to find where center is. Uh, pretty easy to get it nice and centered. So we have maybe a half a centimeter gap on the left side as well as the right side. From here, I'm just gonna use a little bit of painter's tape to mark a center mark. That way when I'm adhering this, I know exactly where everything is. So then fast forward a little bit, we have all the adhesive off the back side, and then just carefully line this back up with that tape you installed. Try not to touch any of the adhesive to the paintwork just yet and make sure it's a nice and even drop onto the paint. And then you can basically just push it down nice and tight against the bodywork, following the lip and the contours of the paint and just secure it nice and tight and push it down in all the spots and you are installed. And then on to installing the carbon fiber lip now. You're just gonna need a few screws. I have two bigger ones and then a bunch of smaller ones, two different size drill bits, along with the screwdriver head as well. And then we're basically just gonna line this up. I'm gonna put a few holes in. You're really just screwing into the plastic under here. Just make sure you don't go too high and obviously screw through the top side. But just I'll make a few small pilot holes to get things lined up and then we can completely install the whole lip. All right, so it's nice to have an extra set of hands and we're just going to line everything up to where it fits. And I have the one drill bit that is smaller. And then on the far side, just kind of lift it up to where it fits. And you can watch this edge as it gets nice and uh, secure. And then while I have that lined up, I'll just go ahead and put that screw in. All right, this far edge is now secure and I really only need to get like two in here and then I should be able to hold everything myself. So I'm gonna move to the center one now and this one, you know, just make sure it's all lined up still and be careful with this one so you don't go through the top. And then just grab the screw. All right, so I think that is good enough now. I should be able to do the rest on my own, so not too bad to easily install this. 
and then just drill another hole. And again, make sure you're not going to go outside that diffuser. And then just put that screw in once again. All right, there we go. Front carbon fiber lip is installed. I like how subtle that is. It's not like a crazy one that just takes over the whole bumper. That is looking really cool. And as you can see with everything, fitment is really, really good. It lines up perfectly with the contours that the bumper has. And then of course, going back to the rear wing, looking good just to add that little bit of aggression on this car. Definitely looking super, super cool. So now the moment of truth is, can I roll back off of these wooden stands without now ripping off the front splitter? So I guess we're just gonna have to test that and see. So this is the just-in-case angle. Hopefully I don't rip that off. However, this is the just-in-case also, just to make sure I don't rip off the front bumper. Hey, and I think we made it without damaging anything. So we are good. Lip did not hit any of the wood. So now I think it's time to get a full look at the new look for the Supra. All right, so there we go, installing the Keys Motorsports wing along with that carbon fiber front splitter. Super easy installation, really doesn't take all too much time and effort, and things are looking really good. If we take another good look at the rear wing, fitment's pretty spot on, quite honestly. As you can see, fits nicely with the contours of the car, and it really adds that extra aggression and kind of amplifies the cool style that the Toyota Supra already has in the stock form. So I'm definitely liking the overall appearance and just how sweet the car is looking. Look at that, it just sticks out a couple inches to really help give it that more aggressive look. Definitely a pretty sick wing design. And then the front lip, I really, really like it. It's kind of that good subtle design to where it's not crazy in your face. However, it gives you that extra aggression just to make the car look a little bit lower and wider and more aggressive from the front. I think it looks really good and the fitment's spot on. It wraps around the bumper exactly the way you would want and just kind of is that perfect addition with the genuine carbon fiber. You can see that carbon weave in there. It looks really, really cool. So that is going to wrap it up then, installing the Keys Motorsports carbon fiber front lip along with that carbon fiber ducktail spoiler. Supra is coming together. And don't forget, we carry these on our website along with a few more carbon fiber goodies from Keys Motorsports. So definitely check out those links down below if you want to upgrade your Toyota Supra and add a little bit more beautiful carbon fiber. Who doesn't love carbon fiber? Supra's looking better and better. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, stay tuned for plenty more content, and I'll see you all in the next video.